नमस्ते हरिओम वेलकम टू शेवधी चैनल वी आर कंटिन्यूंग विथ अवर संस्कृत प्रवेश एक्साम प्रिपेरेशन सीरीज दिस इज द फोर्थ पार्ट चतुर्थ भाग एंड यू आर ऑलरेडी वेरी फेमिलियर विथ द फॉर्मेट ऑफ ईच लेसन ड्यूरिंग दिस एक्साम प्रिपरेशन सीरीज वी हैव बीन कवरिंग द सिलेबस टॉपिक वाइज अप अंटिल नाउ वी हैव कवर्ड सूक्ति संग्राह्य विषय देवता स्तुति सुभाषित प्रहेलिका एंड संस्कृत वाय परचय एंड ऑलसो व्यावहारिक शब्द एंड एट द एंड ऑफ दि पार्ट थ्री वीडियो वी हेड गिवन क्वेश्चन पेपर ऑन दि कथा टॉपिक इन दट क्वेश्चन पेपर दे वर् आंसर इन संस्कृत टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड ऑलसो फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स and uh, uh, the uh, answers will be given in this particular video and also uh, you can find the links to these first three parts uh, in the description section of this particular video and as we always do uh, let us start with the prarthana hands in namaskara mudra vakra tunda mahakaya surya koti sama prabha निर्विघ्न कुर मे देवाकु सर्वदा सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभं क्या सिद्धिर्भवत मे सदा वागर्थाव संपृक्त वागर्थ प्रतिपत्त जगत पितर वंदे पार्वती परमेशर गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेशर गुर साक्षा पर ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम हरि लेट अस् गेट स्टार्टेड विथ टुडे टापिक्स कथा एंड यू ऑलरेडी नो देर आर टेन डिफरेंट स्टोरी इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक एंड द नेम्स ऑफ दीज थिंग्स आर लिस्टेड सो जस्ट फॉर क्विक रेफरेंस एंड the answer to the katha section based question paper that was given in the last video uh, they are in this particular uh, uh, pdf file and uh, link to this will also be given in the description section of this video so you can uh, download the pdf and uh, verify the answers and along with that right we had given uh, answer in uh, samskrita and another one was fill in the blanks and you might also get some uh, match the following uh, and another important type of question that you will get in the uh, based on the katha topic is explain with reference to context who said this to whom and when so that type of question uh, we will uh, take a look at two sample questions here aham viraktah sada truptah so this is the question this is how a sentence uh, taken from uh, one of the katha will be given and you have to explain that uh, with reference to context so the format if you follow this format you will uh, uh, get uh, full marks so first of all you list uh, the katha uh, the name of the story that it is taken from okay here this sentence is taken from the katha vairagyena eva truptihi so this is the uh, katha or the story based on uh, and uh, chanakya and his interaction with the, the thieves who are trying to uh, steal the warm clothes from his house and here and then the next one first one you have to say uh, from which katha it is taken from and then who said this to whom chanakya says this to the thieves okay then you have to give the context you know when was this said so here uh, so obviously you would have gone through the uh, story you can use your own words so just give the uh, context when that particular uh, sentence was spoken here you know as you know uh, chanakya was given uh, uh, some warm clothes and he was uh, to be distributed amongst the poor people uh, and uh, chanakya uh, was told to do so by the king chandragupta and then they uh, saw this uh, then some thieves saw this happening and then they had entered uh, chanakya's house to steal the uh, warm clothes and then 
they were baffled because he was sleeping without uh, uh, any blanket on him uh, he was just sleeping on the mat and uh, instead of stealing they were uh, really perplexed by his uh, uh, behavior they asked him uh, why you are not uh, 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 why you are not using these blankets there, there are so many lying in your place and the chanakya replies that these blankets were meant for the poor and uh, he is not interested in any of these things because because he has renounced all the pleasures so he is content with what he has so that is when uh, that particular sentence comes aham viraktaha sada truptaha so if you just explain the uh, uh, sandarbha yeah, like this then uh, in, just do it in three parts uh, and let's look, look at another example draksha phalani amlani here again the sentence is taken from the katha moodaha jambukaha and uh, the jackal says this to himself and when does it happen after uh, uh, seeing uh, a creeper full of juicy grapes he tries to uh, get those by jumping up and up uh, but uh, he couldn't reach them and uh, so obviously he is disappointed and uh, in order to console himself he says that the grapes are sour so draksha phalani amlani so this is uh, another example of this explain with reference to the context type of question so you can uh, when you are reading the story and if you are when you are recalling the uh, story uh, when you look at these sentences just ask yourself uh, these questions explain with reference to context type and then you uh, recall the name of the katha and who said this to whom and then the sandarbha so that helps in the revision now we will move on to bhasha abhyasa and sanskrita vyavahara topics here you will get everything pretty much you know samaya sankhya and uh, your koshtaka and vibhakti niyama uh, and upasarga all these thing topics and saptakakara and all these topics come under that and uh, there will be you know different types of questions and uh, whenever you are trying to uh, translate the sentences from uh, uh, sanskrita to either english or the selected language or from english or the opted language back to sanskrita so all these things help uh, so we will club all the sub topics under this uh, main topic bhasha abhyasa and sanskrita vyavahara and look at uh, those uh, sub topics sankhyaha sankhyaha so the numbers so here uh, in the next few slides we have listed all the sanskrita sankhya and uh, Uh, you uh, say these uh, numbers to yourself because uh, they there might be some questions like write the numbers uh, uh, from one to ten or it could be like uh, they give the number in uh, uh, Roman numerals and ask you to write that in Sanskrit numerals or in Sanskrit words also. So uh, just be careful here. Uh, some of the things you know, especially the spelling. For example, when you write. ashta it is ashta not ashtha okay so that type of uh, uh, you know uh, attention you have to give you have to give and uh, uh, saptadasha for example 17 is saptadasha not saptadasha because 18 is ashtadasha so then 17 you know we tend to think that it could also be saptadasha no it is not be careful saptadasha like that you know just uh, say these numbers uh, once um, every other day maybe and uh, look at uh, write it every other day as well uh, uh, so that you are very comfortable with the spelling and uh, all these numbers i am not going to read through this but uh, you can uh, have this as a reference and uh, another thing you can do is uh, another uh, point is here wherever there is a 44 54 there you have to be little bit careful because it is chatuhu followed by that number so chatush chatwarimshat here chatuhu panchashat okay so chatushashthi chatush is here that uh, visarga you pay, pay attention here either you can write as chatus saptatihi or you can uh, 
replace that uh, as we know uh, that uh, uh, when the visarga is followed by sa arsha it gets replaced by the next sa arsha half sa or half sha so it becomes chatus saptatihi so these things you especially the number with 4 you uh, pay attention to that uh, quickly look at all the numbers uh, counting by tens kind of thing uh, so since if you know what is 20 30 and then uh, counting from that point onward for example ekavim uh, shatihi like that uh, and just like that uh, uh, for 30 30 onwards so you will have the similar pattern so uh, this is uh, it's good to remember uh, these uh, main numbers 0 shunyam 10 dasha 20 vimshatihi 30 trimshat 40 chatvarimshat 50 panchashat 60 shashtihi 70 saptatihi 80 ashitihi 90 navatihi 100 shatam 1000 sahasram 1 lakh laksham 1 crore kotihi okay now let us uh, move on to the samaya uh, the time uh, time under time you get uh, you know how to say the time of the day and uh, what day it is and what are the different uh, terms related to samaya in sanskrit so these are some of the main uh, uh, words that you will be using so that is uh, these are all listed in your textbook so here it is a summary so it is there is a quick reference for you hora means hour dinaha or divasaha day vasaraha means day of the week saptaha means a week means seven days pakshaha for 15 days or fortnight Masaha month, Varsham year, Samvatsaraha or Vatsaraha means year. Okay, the, uh, these are synonyms. So these are the main words related to Samaya. And what are the seven days of the week? Uh, these are listed here and some synonyms for each day. For example, Soma Vasaraha and Indu Vasaraha mean the same Monday, Mangala Vasaraha and bhauma vasaraha tuesday buddha vasaraha saumya vasaraha wednesday guru vasaraha or brihaspati vasaraha thursday shukra vasaraha bhrugu vasaraha friday shani vasaraha or sthira vasaraha or manda vasaraha saturday aditya vasaraha bhanu vasaraha or ravi vasaraha these all mean Sunday. Okay. Here, uh, some of the uh, lekhana niyama or the writing rules you can observe here. And you should write these words this way only. So, just a quick, uh, uh, you know, uh, tie, now that's a time to recall those uh, um, uh, lekhana niyama. Whenever there is a anuswara followed by a uh, Varga, uh, Vargiya Vyanjana, right? Then you had to use the Anunasika of that particular uh, Varga. Okay, for example, here Mangala Vasaraha, Ma, Mang, okay, it, it, there is a Anuswara after uh, Ma, on top of Ma, if you write the Anuswara and then Ga, it would be wrong because uh, what is following that Anuswara? It is Ga, it is the Kavarga, right? So, ka ka ga ga nya. So, nya is the anunasika. So, the anuswara is replaced by the anunasika of that particular varga letter. So, that is why mangala vasaraha should be written this way, not uh, by putting a bindu on top of ma and then a ga. That is wrong way of writing. So, pay attention to that writing rule. So, I am just uh, bringing your attention to uh, that particular word. So, we get to revise the uh, writing rule or lekhana niyama as well. And same thing here, manda vasaraha. It is not a ma on top of it, a, a dot. Instead of that, there is ma and a half na uh, followed by the. Because tata dadana is the tavarga, right? So, 
whenever uh, that same rule, whenever that anuswara is followed by a vargiya vyanjana, that varga's anunasika should be uh, written uh, instead of the anuswara. So here, uh, instead of a dot or anuswara or a bindu matra, we are using half na because the is uh, part of the tavarga and tavarga's anunasika is na. Okay, manda pasaraha. So, pay attention to this rule and now we got to revise the writing rule as well. Uh, so, whenever uh, uh, you are writing these such words uh, which involve uh, Anuswara followed by a Vargiya Venjana, please remember this rule so that you won't make any spelling mistake. And uh, uh, other words, relative, uh, you know, days like, uh, you know, we say that day before yesterday or uh, day after tomorrow, things like that. So, similar words are also in Samskrita. Let us take a look at it. Pra parahyaha, two days before yesterday. Parahyaha, day before yesterday. Hyaha, it is yesterday. Adya, today. Shvaha tomorrow, Parashvaha day after tomorrow, Pra Parashvaha two days after tomorrow, Gata, Gata means previous, Agami or Agrima that is coming or next. So, this uh, again, you know, along with the other relative terms that we have here. Uh, these are also important. Uh, just for example, you can say Gata Masa, Gata Dina, uh, like that. Agrima Dina, Agrima Masa, things like that. You can uh, use such uh, words as well. And Idanim or Adhuna, now or at this time. So these are these will all come in handy in answering some questions also while making sentences. So remember these words. Now, uh, related to uh, the time, uh, o'clock, like for example, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, like that, right? For that, we use the word vadanam. And uh, una means minus or less by or less than. Adhika means more. Sapada means quarter. Sardha, half. Padona, three quarters. So, or 45. Uh, so, this will uh, make more sense when we actually use these words to tell the time. We will do some uh, uh, exercise related to Samaya. For example, here when you uh, usually in the question paper, you will get the time uh, in uh, Roman numerals. Uh, for example, 7 colon 1 5. Uh, we are just doing this with clock and uh, in some question paper, some regional question paper, you uh, they might also give the clock. Here it is 7.30, so it is Sardha for half that is and for 7 o'clock it is Sapta Vadanam. The next one, it is 1.45 or 15 minutes to 2 o'clock, right. So, it becomes Padona Dvi Vadanam. Next one, 10.30. For 30, it is Sardha, Sa Ardha. That is how you get that uh, uh, term. Sardha, it is 10. So, Sardha, Dasha Padanam. And then, then comes another clock, 11.15, Sa Pada, Sa Pada, with 15. So, that is how you get the Sa Pada. Sa Pada, Ekadasha Vadanam. Next one, 115, Sapada Ekavadanam. Next one, it is 4.30, Sardha Chaturvadanam. 4.45, Padona Panchavadanam. Next one, Padona Shadvadanam. 
Now let us do some exercise as for revision. Answer the following in Samskrita. Write the following timings in Samskrita words. So first uh, look at the time 2.15. So for 15 we know it is Sapada and then the uh, clock, right? It is 2. 2 is Dvivadanam. 2 o'clock is Dvivadanam. So it becomes Sapada Dvivadanam. Next one. 3.05. So it is 5 minutes after 3. Right? It is 5 minutes extra after 3. Right? So Adhika. So it becomes Panchadhika 3 Vadanam. And 8.10. Think, think before we display the answer. It is... Uh, Dashadhika Ashta Vadanam. 3.55, it is 5 minutes to 4 o'clock, right? So, it is 5 minutes less than 4, right? So, that is what you have to uh, write when you are translating it to Sanskrit. So, here, how much, how much less, uh, what is, uh, you know, it's, Panchona. Chaturvadanam. Next, 150. Dashona Dvivadanam. Next is 9.30. Sardha Navavadanam. 9.30, it is Sardha Navavadanam. And few more. 9.05 Panchadhika Navavadanam 12.30 Sardha Dvadasha Vadanam 10.25 You can say this in two ways. One is Panchavimshadhyadhika, Panchavimshati plus Adhika. So that is how it becomes Panchavimshadhyadhika, Dashavadanam or Panchona Sardha Dashavadanam. Okay. So it is 25 minutes more than 10 o'clock or it is 5 minutes less than 10.30. So both are acceptable. 2.55. Panchona Tri Vadanam 408 Ashtadhika Chatur Vadanam 115 Sapada Eka Vadanam And now we will look at the uh, write the following timings in Samskrita numbers. Okay, you had written that in words. Now you write the timings that are given in Samskrita numbers. So Dashadhika Ashta Vadanam. So first you uh, just write it down uh, in uh, Roman numerals in English numbers, and then you write the equivalent uh, in Samskrita numbers. So, Dashadhika Ashtavadanam means 10 minutes more than 8 o'clock. It is 8.10. And then you write, uh, you would have practiced the numbers, right? So, just use, first you write it as 8 colon 10 in English numerals. And then you write that corresponding number in Sanskrita. Sapada Nava Vadanam 9.15. This is 9 colon. 15 in Sanskrit numbers. Padona Chaturvadanam. Three forty five. Dashona Dwadasha Vadanam. Eleven fifty. One one colon 
भानुवासर अद्यूडी नो मीन यस्टे ह्य भानुवासर अद्य सो टूडे हेज टू बी सोमवासर सो इट बिकम्स द आंसर इज अद्य सोमवासर अद्य गुरुवासर शनिवासर कदा सो टूडे इज गुरुवासर सो इफ यू कौंट गुरुवासर शुक्रवासर शनिवासर सो श्व बिकम्स टुमारो दट इज शुक्रवासर एंड डे आफ्टर टुमारो इज शनिवासर सो फॉर डे आफ्टर टुमारो वाट इज द वर्ड इन संस्कृत इट इज परश्व सो देन जस्ट लुक एट द क्वेश्चन गिवन इट इज अद्य एंड देन वाट इज द डे दट आर आस्किंग अबउट and then you write it down or you can count with your fingers and then use the appropriate either hyaha or shwaha whichever direction you are going and then you can frame the sentence parashwaha shanivasarha adya bhanuvasarha hyaha kaha shwaha kaha so it is asking for both uh, if today is sunday what is yesterday and what is tomorrow you just have to remember heha is for yesterday and shwaha is for tomorrow so that your answers will be right so today is bhanuvasara so heha shanivasara and shwaha somavasara adya budhavasara gata divasaha kaha so instead of uh, asking Uh, in hyaha shoha terms here it is using the word gata gata means previous right so gata divasa means instead of saying hyaha it is given uh, gata divasa ha so you have to know the meaning of gata in order to answer this question so which we have already reviewed these terms earlier in this uh, video adya budhavasara ha gata divasa ha kaha gata divasa ha mangalavasara ha again pay attention to writing mangalavasara ha correctly using the anunasika for the anuswara okay that which is the writing rule uh, related to the anuswara and the vargiya vyanjana combo okay gata divasa ha mangalavasara ha now we will look at the saptakakara ha if you have attended uh, sanskrita bharati sambhashana varga we would have come across uh, uh, all these uh, question uh, types that we uh, use and uh, it is actually you would become so familiar with this you would uh, say it so uh, like a sing song kim kutra kati kada kutah katham kimartham so kim means what so we will look at uh, these things with uh, a sample sentences किम वाट तव नाम किम सह किम खादती सो दिस डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन दट यू कैन एस किम इज फॉर वाट कुत्र मीन्स वेर राम कुत्र वसती बालिके कुत्र पठत कति कति मीन्स हाउ मेनी कति वेदा सी संस्कृत वर्णमाला कति अक्षरा सी सो कति हाउ मेनी दिस आर सैंपल सेंटेंस कदा वेन भवान् कदा आगतवान् सा कदा उत्तिष्ठति kutaha means from where okay 
So remember, kutra means just where, kutaha from where. Adhyapakaha kutaha agamishyati. So where is he coming from? Where is the teacher coming from? So that's the meaning. Bhavati pathya pustakam kutaha kritavati. From where did you buy the textbook? Katham means how. Esha gayaki katham gayati. How does that singer sing? Kimartham means why. Sahabalakaha kimartham dhavati. Why is that boy running? Okay, this, are, this is just a quick uh, recap of all the saptakakaras that you have learnt in your pravesha. And these things will come in handy again, uh, you know, there will be type of questions where you will be given a sentence and asked to frame a question, uh, frame an appropriate question for that particular sentence. Okay. Uh, for example, Devaha Sarvatra Asti, right. So then for that, you would have to write a, uh, an appropriate uh, question, then it becomes uh, then they uh, they might even underline the word for based on which you have to frame a question. So, Devaha Sarvatra Asti. So, Sarvatra would be underlined. Okay. And then they ask you to frame a question. Then you would have to frame a question like Devaha Kutra Asti. And uh, remember to put the question mark uh, so that you won't lose marks. Because if, if you are framing a question, you obviously have to uh, put a question mark. Before the next uh, video, which will be posted uh, during this weekend, uh, please go through uh, your uh, Koshtakas, that is your Vibhakti table and Kriyapada table and Kridanta that you have learnt uh, and also the Vibhakti rules. So, that will come in handy. Uh, so, we will just do some uh, sample questions so that you get some practice with these uh, concepts as well. Okay, until then, uh, wish you all the best. Happy uh, learning. Harihi Om. Shubhamastu. Sarvejanaha. Sukhinav Bhavanti. Dhanyavadaha.